Mr. Sinister here real quick before this video starts. Remember, I made this figure. She is perfect just like Jean Grey. So remember that when watching this video. I made her. She's my daughter. But... Even though she did change her outfit, which irritates me, I had her looking perfect. But remember though, after this video is over, watch it to the end. And if you don't, I'm going to come and make clones of you. Now, please remember to like the content and share it with everybody. And if you don't, Mr. Sinister's coming for you. With that being said, please enjoy this look at my beautiful daughter, Goblin Queen. Mr. Sinister out. Let's do this. So here's a look at the figure in the packaging. You can see X-Men 97 right there. There's Silhouette Goblin Queen. You can see the figure right there with the little baby cable. A little black, little effects pieces and her fist. Here's a look at the back. There's another, there's a fig, picture of the action figure. Here's the rest of them. I still have Magneto, Jean Grey, and Executioner left to get. I got Cyclops, Nightcrawler, and Goblin Queen. Let's get this figure open and out of the packaging so I can get my hands on it. Okay, and here we have Madeline Pryor, aka Goblin Queen, out of the packaging. First up, let's look at her accessories. First, she comes with a baby, which I can only assume this is little baby Cable. And it looks like the exact same sculpt as the Mystique, VHS Mystique. But if you've seen the show as of recording this, the first two episodes of X-Men 97 are out. This is exactly what it looks like in the show, so I don't mistake for Hasbro for making it look like this. I appreciate the wrapped in a little X-Men blanket. So there's that. She comes with fists, although I don't know how much punching she's going to be doing in the show. It's mostly probably going to be a mental battle when she fights everybody. I may also say that these are really teeny tiny fists. Man, she's small. I mean, she has a Jean Grey clone, so that's to be expected. And she comes with little um, power effects. I've seen these before, and these are just repainted. Actually, they look exactly the very similar to the one that came with the Chasm figure. Hmm, I wonder why. And yeah. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. Alright, ignore that, but you can see she has her, um, whatever this is, her little emblem thing. But you can see, I pre I love the nice cape that she has, the texture on it's very nice, although the little, little serial number does kind of take your eyes off of it. It has a nice, like, rough texturing to it. <clears throat> I do appreciate that, and uh, forewarn you, that cape is going to be coming unpegged a lot, and it is a pain to get it back in. Yep, nope, I give up. But you can see she has dark gray right here. I can already see repaints coming in to paint this flesh tone. Oh, how people were so mad by this costume. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Ignore the cleavage. And you see she has heels, which we'll get back to this later because this is a pain. And you see her hair is a nice red, red-orange. Basically the exact same hair color as Jean Grey, although she is a whole, whole hell of a lot more pale. Like, she passes a vampire pale. Yeah. You can see on her corset, everything looks just fine. The paint is perfect, although it is just solid black, so there's no shock there. 
And the sculpting of the cape is very nice as we t look back at this. It has this nice tethered kind of look and it's not straight. It is very nice. And this is a new, brand new sculpted cape, at least that's what I'm assuming, as I just whack the camera with my hand. But here, here. But let me just tilt it down a little bit. Okay. But no, you can see right here, or uh, I forgot what this is called, but this just essentially holds the cape together. And you can see the skin tone is very nice. She has black nails on, on how well they show up on camera. And again, she's a very pale woman. She has bright, like dark red lips and red, if they can focus, a dark, dark red eyebrows on like blue eyes. And she's very um, big in the upper torso area. You can see they may not have made her in a, the exact costume, but they did make her a little bit something. something. Now let's take a look at that sweet articulation of this Jean Grey clone. Her head can look this far to the right, this far to the left, and the, of course the hair limits how far she can turn her head, but you can kind of get it, yeah, you think you can get it go all the way around. She can look up that much, down that much, double jointed elbows, um, Double, yeah, double jointed elbows. Wrist can swivel. It can bend that, like that, horizontal bend. And then she has a diaphragm cut. It can go all the way around. It can go forward that much, and, and she can arch her back. Oh boy. She has ball jointed hips which can go forward that much a little stiff and they can't get a little back because of her cape she has a thigh cut double jointed knees and her ankles can go back and forth and that's about it that's all you're gonna get now let's see how Goblin Queen stacks up with other characters, so that way you know how well they scale with each other. Here she is with Nightcrawler, and as, as you can see, she she is she's got some height on him. Nightcrawler, that hair ain't helping, man. I think she's tall because of her stilettos, but yeah. And here she is with her baby daddy Cyclops, and I think. Yeah, those heels are making her taller than him. And that's on the Vulcan body. Man. Wait a minute. I have one more size comparison that I think might have answered a question. And here she is next to Short Metal Man Who Can't Stand, a.k.a. Wave 1 Magneto. Oh, how I do not like this figure. And, yeah, as I suspected, she's... She's taller than him. I don't know if that's just the heels or if that's just this guy. Who, he's kind of bow-legged and kind of crooked right now. Yeah, that's why he stands in the back of the corner of the dark room. No one can see him. Such a lonely man. Eh, yep. And here she is with Wolverine. Hey, Wolverine. Maybe this Jean Grey might be better for you. Here she's a little more feisty. No. Oh, he's gonna murder me in my sleep. I know he is. And here she is next to Spider-Man. It's Peter Parker. Granted, it's not her Spider-Man that she knows. That's Ben Riley. Unfortunately, I do not have a Ben Riley figure. But yeah. Yeah, she 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 hovers over Spider-Man. Man, those stilettos are give her some height. And as always, here she is with her dad, Mr. Sinister, who is way too big for this screen. So, uh, what do you think about Father of the Year? Hmm? Nothing. 
Madeline. Madeline. Dang it, this is what this is what I get. She ignores me because she thinks she's so cool because she came with accessories. <sighs> I'm gonna have to have a talk with Hasbro. Now, granted, this is how she looks in the X Men '97 show. Overall, the design is per is good. It matches how she looks semi to the comics. Granted, I know there's gonna be customizers out there who are going to find a way to make her look more appealing on the eyes, I should say. I do think they captured how she looks from the comics good. She's essentially just a clone of Jean Grey, and nothing more to that, really. She does have her powers, and overall, this this figure is quite impressive. I appreciate the new sculpted cape. I appreciate the effects pieces that she has, although those have been used time and time again. I like the fact that she comes with essentially his baby cable, and that is how he's going to look in the show. Although it is just basically a remolded nightcraw baby nightcrawler from the Mystique VHS figure. With all that being said though, this figure is probably one of my favorites from the wave. And although the ankles on mine are loose. Loose is a very loose is an easier way of saying it. Those those ankles are, those look like old school Mick Farland ankles with how loose they are. Just gonna fall over, Batman hush ankles. That's how strong they are. With all of that being said, and while my minor nitpicks of her not being able to stand correctly, the ankles being kind of wibbly wobbly, as you could say. I do love this figure. Well, she may not be Mother of the Year. She is a very fine-looking figure. With all that being said, remember my cash up is down below in the description. So if you'd like to help out the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and please share my content so that way it reaches more people. With all those little things out of the way, as always, stay tuned for the other reviews. And as always, folks, have a good one. Crimson out.